From the opposite side of a club, you'd probably mistake the Tone Master Deluxe for a 65 Deluxe Reverb Reissue. The only overt differentiating visual cues are the Tone Master plate on the lower right corner and the and the lamp that glows orange when the amp is muted. The front panel control set is identical to an original black panel or a modern reissue, complete with normal and vibrato channels and bright switches for both. Using a high-performance 100-watt digital power amp to achieve the headroom and dynamic range of a real vintage deluxe tube amp. Paired with the pronounced sparkle and clarity of a single Jensen R N12K neodymium speaker and a resonant pine cabinet, the result is tubeless deluxe reverb tone. Volume and dynamics virtually indistinguishable from the all-tube original. And with all these features, the Tone Master Deluxe Reverb is in fact about only half the weight of an all-tube deluxe. The power attenuator, which features settings for 22, 12, 5, 1, 0.5, and 0.2 watts of output is invaluable for home use and gigging alike. And the amp's ability to retain most essential performance characteristics at even the lowest output is impressive. The other important back panel addition is the balanced XLR line out and cabinet simulator with three distinct impulse response simulations, which enables you to silently record, with the help of the mute switch that replaces the standby, or run out to a PA and use your amp as a monitor in mic less situations. At clean and low gain settings, many listeners will struggle to tell a tone master and a tube driven, 65 deluxe reverb reissue apart. It's certainly quieter, but there's also just enough ambient. Amp at work hiss to make you wonder if you aren't just listening to a freshly tuned tube unit. If you are among the many players who favor the deluxe as a foundation for effect based sound sculpting, You'll love the warm, soft, crystalline, and delicate dynamism qualities of the Tone Master at clean setting. The amp is even more impressive at low gain settings, which apart from a little extra excitability and sparkle in the top end, replicate the sounds and responsiveness of the Tone Master's tube counterpart. You can also start to hear very small differences in saturation characteristics here. Most tube versions will exhibit slight, but perceptibly softer compression. But I'd also venture that most players will prefer the extra clarity, which flatters many effects. The tremolo and reverb, by the way, are superb. The reverb has a little less of the clanging, electromechanical resonance of a vintage tank, but comes down close and is probably better suited to modern tastes and applications anyway. The tremolo, meanwhile, has a satisfying throb that would likely be indistinguishable in isolation, but which can sound a little less soft and contoured than vintage Fender tremolo side by side including low-gain overdrive. The Tone Master Deluxe Reverb is a brilliant, if not revolutionary, concept. It effectively makes what's arguably the greatest ever gigging amp into a lighter, more flexible, and convenient version of itself. Given how effectively it replicates most of the performance profile of its illustrious inspiration, and the fair price, this excellent emulation may well have the staying power of the original. So if you want to keep your back save this amp it could be an interesting option. Thanks for watching.